Hi, welcome to BS Garage. On this one, we install this and those and that. It's a complete stereo system. It's pretty good. Let's go. Actually, I have to go back in time a bit uh, before she was even close to being this far done when I got this all started. So let's do that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what that's the sound of back in time that people do on the YouTubes. Doo -doo. This is going to be a fun one for me. Putting an audio system in the car, and all, I have all these ideas bouncing around in my head of how I can basically hide all of this, or at least make it blend in to the car. Because the worst thing is when you look in the back window of a muscle car and all you see are like these gaudy six by nine grills. I think that looks so dumb. In my opinion, I think that everything should be hidden and clean and just not, not out and about. So my setup here, um, a lot of it, like all my component speakers, my subwoofer, my amp, SCAR audio. Um, I basically got all this stuff on Amazon. I just looked up reviews and stuff like that. And it just, it's basically what I went with. So this is going to be my, RP 350.1D amplifier in order to power my subwoofer. So this is a pretty slick little subwoofer box. Um, I'm not going big or anything like that because I'm old. Like I don't want like huge bass. I just want some bass. And I think that this is going to provide that quite well. I've got a amplifier uh, wiring kit there. I've got some I might use these, these 6.5 speaker spacers. I'm not sure yet. Some foam in order to mount some stuff. And some DEI boom mat speaker baffles. Um, two sets of 6.9s, even though I have 6.5. But this will make more sense later when I come to the door speakers. Uh, for the rear panel, I have um, 6.9s here. And then I have um, 6.5 inch speakers below here that will go on the doors and these also have some tweeters and some like smaller like i forget what they're called the little boxes that control them in order to spend send you know the base to one and then the clarity to the other so i gotta mount that all up in the door i got perfect spots for those and i think that's where i'm going to start is the door speakers because i wanted i want to see if my idea is going to work so i'm going to unbox these and then i'll go over my plan for the door speakers and duh i forgot to mention what's going to control it all um kenwood that can with that I, I read that off but you can see it so um it's a amplifier slash bluetooth controller so basically the only thing that's going to control it is this little guy right here and my phone i think that's just super trick super simple and i like these a lot i think this is like the fifth one i've used of these and they just they just work so good so amplifier is nice and small i can hide it underneath the seat and this will just go in um, either under the dash or center console. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to actually mount that piece, but I like these a lot. Door speaker setup. These are the SCAR Audio TX65Cs. Um, these are hefty. Like this has got some girth to it for sure. Uh, so yeah, also comes with these little tweeters and these little boxes for distributing. I still don't know what they're called. I'm dumb, but yeah, it takes, you know, you put your wires in, the wires come out, goes to each speaker, gets you your sound. Comes with speaker grills and stuff like that, a different way to mount up your tweeters if you want to, some mounting hardware. And then I have some boom mat baffles. These are a six by nine because the way I think I'm going to mount them, um, I want to do like one low and it'll give me enough space up top in order to mount the tweeter the way that my mounting plan is going to go. Um, and that will just keep it out of the elements that are inside a door. Does that make sense? But I just I just want to make sure everything's baffled and protected. So that's what these are going to do. Uh, yeah, so. So how I'm going to mount these, or where I should say. So in the door, there's an access panel that was here. Obviously I took it out, but why not utilize that space to put some speakers, right? Um, I am going to have to cut it out just ever so slightly in order to open it up. Uh, so if you're heartbroken about that, we're going to take a moment of silence for you and we're done. I'm going to clean all this up. Like, I don't know, this is probably asbestos, but it's got to go and then cut this out 
and then make a piece of ABS plastic to mount behind there and then plan out my speaker layout after that. Here's the chunk I ended up cutting out of the door. Um, I'll put this in my save pile so if anybody else wants it to like reweld in your car to keep it original, they can. Uh, and this is the panel that I made. So I just wanted it to follow some of the, the door lines, even though you're never gonna see it, but I'm just trying to make it look a little bit professional. Go in the groove there. Got it all clicked in. So I'm just using this basically as a proof of concept because in theory, that door is the exact same. So I'm gonna take this piece here and make another one exactly the same. And then I will trace it out on that side and then cut that door out. So I'm just basically working this side, copying it on that side. Passenger side panel is all set. I basically traced the driver's side one onto the passenger side to mirror them, oversized cut it, and then I clamped the two together and basically took my grinder and just lightly buzzed away the areas so that they're perfectly mirrored and then drilled all my holes too so that all the holes are in the exact same spot. One tip I have, if you're gonna be cutting it with like a skill saw like I have, lay a tape line down first. Um, so you're cutting through the tape. If you cut through the tape, it won't melt on you and it will actually give you a nice clean cut. Um, if you try to cut it normally, it's just gonna heat up the blade too much and basically plastic weld itself back together. And then you're stuck dealing with that when it's all cut out, you're, you gotta break it apart and it's a pain in the butt. So tip, use some tape first, cut through the tape. Got my panel covered in tape. I got a center line drawn and I'm using this trim ring here or like it's a spacer ring to kind of mark out where this goes because this fits perfectly, you know, over top of that. I'm just using it as a template. I'm trying to get my layout. So this will actually mount on the back side, and then the other ones will flush mount on the back side. And I may have to recess this one in. I'm trying to think. I think this is a good layout, and I think it's going to give me enough room to 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 cover up the speakers that way when I mount it in the door. So yeah, let me uh, let me get these cut out. And see where my layout is after that. Got the speakers mounted in, use some M5 countersinks, basically because I want everything flush. And I beveled the inner edge all the way around so that the speaker doesn't come in contact with it whatsoever. Um, yeah, looks good. But next up, because I'm just doing this for mock-up, I gotta do the tweeter. I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere. Come on, hold on. Got it. Um, so I wanna mount it right here. But if I was to flush mount it according to this little bezel that it comes in, it would stick above the flat plate. And I don't want that. I want it behind the flat plate. So I think I'm going to trim out a shape that fits the door cut and this. And this will sink down in there. And then it will attach to that plate and it will mount behind. So we're going to, yeah, let's, let's trace out a, an area there to cut out. And then I gotta build another piece for this to mount to. Got my little recess plates made for the tweeters. So basically that will go there. That will mount up that way. I think I'm gonna rivet those in um, because they don't ever have to come apart. And that will keep that like nice and flush with the panel. Oh, uh, next, 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 next. Next is this. It has to mount behind, but I need to leave enough room for the boom mat piece, which I'm probably gonna have to trim to fit. So I gotta figure that out and then do a full assembly on this and then see if it, see if it still fits in the door. Got the door speaker setup all done. Basically, yeah, uh, the, the boom mat um, sound speaker baffle thing I cocked on the side, trimmed to fit. And how I attached it was some of this um, black super weather gasket and adhesive. Works pretty great. Basically, just kind of like put it all around where it needed to be and then use some clamps to just clamp it to it. And that is... It's not coming off. Plus, when you have this bolted or, or screwed to the door, it's not coming off anyway. So that should really help out 
with the sound and stuff. And then I've got um, this piece. I still don't know what it's called. Leave it in the comments below and how dumb I am because I have no idea what this is called. Like, a tr uh, I'm not even going to attempt it because I'm just going to look stupid. Um, yeah, this is all wired up. Got a pretty hefty length of wire here to run through the door. And I got the passenger side actually in. Yeah. Looks good. And that foam too, like just seals off all the edges that are not, you know, flush. Most of them are, but it's just a nice way to get it sealed. And then I just have these, these are cheap. I think these were like $5 on Amazon or something like that. Um, like a door gasket, a door wire gasket thing. So basically just drill two holes and put that in there and the wire runs through there. So that'll work out well. Now I wanna, I wanna bolt this one in because I wanna actually test everything out first and then, um, yeah, then we'll go from there and then we'll start working on the rear. So I totally realized that the timeline is completely off on this one, but to finish up the audio, we're gonna pick it back up from right here. So where the car is now. So what you all just saw there, that was um, about a couple months ago, I think, in order to get those, those door speaker setups all good to go. But uh, before we can throw them in for permanent, I have some DEI boom mat I want to line the inside of the doors with in order to really keep down on vibration to the tinny sound of it. So I'm gonna get that thrown in and then we'll move on to more things. All right, got all the sound deadening in both doors. Makes a huge difference. Nice and solid sounding now. Got the speaker set up in permanently, I hope. Got all my wires ran, so I got some of these, um, I don't even know what to call them. I got them on Amazon, they're like $5. So they're just like a door weather wire runner thing. They just kind of like press fit in there. But I got my wires running through there. So this is the speaker obviously. And then this is the power windows because we got power windows in this thing. Just gotta hook those up. Uh, both sides are done. Now I just gotta do the rear and I'm gonna keep it the rear super simple. Six by nines. Scar Audio. I'm gonna make a panel that fits right here to make the speaker just fit right here. That's it. ABS plastic screws in as one unit, good to go. So I'm gonna work on a template for that and then trace it out on ABS plastic, like I said, and that should be done. All right, so here's the template that I made. Fairly simple, easy, uh, fits quite well. Works on both sides, can you just flip it around? Mirrored. This is what I came up with. So this is just eighth inch, uh, plate, eighth inch uh, ABS plastic that I cut it out of, smoothed it all out, cut the hole out for the speaker, drilled it, put it on the back side so that it's more recessed in because this is all gonna get hidden. So this doesn't have to be the prettiest and this is just duct tape because that's holding on the boom mat, um, like the speaker thing to like, kind of make it like a little mini box in a way almost, um, just kind of helps to direct the sound back out at you uh, like I said, this isn't going to be the prettiest because, you know, it's just going to get covered up. This is the driver's side. I got the passenger side in. So there you go. So next up, she's going to need a little bit of bass. Nothing crazy. So that's why I went with this guy here. It is, what is it? Like a new age bazooka tube almost. But I liked it because of the shape. It reminds me of like an old suitcase or something like that or kind of thereabouts. It'll just kind of maybe qu make people question if my trunk is open like ooh, what's that because the way I'm going to tie it down is I got some pretty inexpensive belts from Amazon there's some Dickies style so that's always cool distressed leather um, on this side and I'm gonna anchor it down with some of these guys here these are just like some stainless steel straps I think they use them in like marine applications and stuff like that um, but I'm, my plan is to like cut the belt, loop it around there so that the buckle is like on the back side there. So it's just kind of showing that piece off and then the rest of the strap goes around and that's what's gonna tie this sucker down. So let me get this kind of set up and I'll show you what I'm going for. This is where the subwoofer box is gonna live, like right on top of that hump. I think it just kind of fits nicely. It just looks like just something. I don't know what, but it just doesn't like stand out to me as a subwoofer box. And once we strap it down the way I wanna strap it down, gonna be even better. So I took the belts, cut them to a proper length, um, 
drilled a hole and it wrapped around, got one of those hooks through it. One of those tie downs through it. So it'll live something like that. And then I'll put some um, nut starts in right here. That'll tie that down. And then once I get that on, I'll strap the belt to it, wrap it around the backside and figure out where the back ones need to be in order to make sure that this is nice and tight and this won't go on anywhere. Um, it's nice that this is carpet as well. And then this is the truck bed liner. It's just like, it doesn't move side to side at all either. You just gotta, you just gotta keep it steady. So that's kind of the goal. So let me um, wrap this up and I'll show you when it's all done. That just looks so cool. Yeah, that is and stupid and expensive. Like I went to my local um, grocery store that also has some clothes and stuff and these belts were like $9.99 a piece or something like that. So super simple, super easy. And it just, it just adds an element to the car when you open the trunk. I, don't, I really dig it. I think it's awesome looking. Heck yeah. So obviously this is all gonna get covered up with panels and stuff like that, so you won't see the scar audio, but I'm just showing you kind of how I mounted it up. Yep, I like that, that's awesome. So now that we have like all the components and stuff in, we gotta put the brains in, which is the amplifier, and then the Bluetooth stereo amp. That's gonna live underneath my seat. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because it's like midnight. So for the brains of everything, this is my Kenwood, that part number. So this is a uh, Bluetooth. That's what the BT stands for right there. So it has like a little controller that's going to be mounted in my center console. To link it up with my phone. So my whole stereo system will be controlled by my phone. Um, and this will just send everything out to where it needs to be. So this will control my all my speakers. And then it's got um, aux outputs into the amplifier. And this is the amplifier for the subwoofer. This is what they recommended for that um that sub box thing um so as you can see i got it mounted on a piece of abs plastic and the reason for that is so that i can mount to my floor and stay above the carpet on some isolators so as we can see right there so i have some m6 isolators uh mounted in some thread certs into the floor and this guy will just live right there this will allow me to like run all my wires underneath the carpet. I'll cut a small hole in the carpet there and then they'll all come up and do it, connect where they need to connect. So that's what I actually have to do next is route all my wiring, make sure everything flows and fits. I actually kind of got to make sure that, that fits under my seat. It should, should have plenty of room, but um, that's what I'm going to do. Actually, that's what I'm going to do now is make sure that this isn't too high. I'm going to throw the seat in and then I'm going to start running all my wires. Oh yeah, all the room in the world. So this actually has to come up a little bit more, but yeah, nothing's gonna interfere with anything. So awesome, that's a nice little tight package. Got all my wires ran and I just had it fired up and I am so impressed with like the clarity and that little subwoofer. I mean, even though that's an eight inch subwoofer, the box enclosure and the way it's set up, I mean, it hits just right. It's not so overpowering, but it's just, I don't know. It, for me, it just feels like it just has enough bass that it, you know, you can feel it in your chest and it just adds to the music. And I mean, obviously I would, I'd play it for you, but copyright issues and, you know, it's not going to come across. So like, trust me when I say like, I was a little emotional when I got it fired up because it was just like so good. Absolutely love it. So this is the setup. Um, you know, I can just I take this out and then when I put the carpet in, I'll cut like a hole in the carpet there and that will slide back down. But this is just so clean and easy and simple and compact. I absolutely love it. Fits the car perfectly. Um, I have a few more things I have to run for wiring and then I can throw the carpet and stuff in. So I'm going to save that for the next one. But yeah. Awesome. As always, if you guys made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. Um, this turned out awesome. And for not, honestly, it wasn't that much money. I got all these parts on Amazon, Scar Audio for all my components, Kenwood for the Bluetooth receiver. It fits this car perfectly. It's so it's so crisp, clean, and clear. And just, like I said, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, next up, I think I'm gonna throw some carpet in here and do some more like interior things, just to kind of start 
start tying this thing all together because as you can see like the way the subwoofers like tied in uh that's gonna be kind of the theme of the inside of the car just kind of like rustic modern if that makes sense um with a little bit of a twist my own little twist on it so thanks again for watching guys we'll see you on the next one